Hi everybody, this is John and this just came in the mail courtesy of FedEx. It is a brand new iPad Pro 9.7 inch with 256 gigabytes of hard disk space. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Having already taken the liberty of cracking open the box so you didn't see all of my shipping information, um, what is in there is this um, this piece of uh, cardboard with the iPad container wrapped around it in shrink wrap. All we have to do is pull that out and the iPad comes out. I'm going to take just a moment and go ahead and break the shrink wrap with just a simple pocket knife. And once it's broken, it just comes right off. And you'll see all of it coming out. And uh, the lid, you can actually see, has the iPad Pro right here. The thin line of the iPad. And uh, some more information about it you see on the back. 256 gigabyte. Woo! All right, so let's crack this guy open and just take a look. When we pull it out... Here it is, right at the very top. The exact thing you want to see is the iPad. Um, just leaning out of the shell a little bit, and there it comes. Um, there's the Apple logo that we're all so comfortable in using. And let's just kind of scoot it off to the side. Um, what you see in the box is, um, in a very Apple way of packing, a Thunderbolt to USB cord. The Thunderbolt to USB adapter, and some handy dandy um, Apple stickers, and a few little guides, pieces of information for the iPad. Um, pretty darn cool. You'll see all the information there. The box has nothing else in it. So we're sitting here looking at the iPad. There's a tab on the back. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull on it, and all of the uh, the plastic wrap around the iPad comes off. And there it is, and let's go ahead and fire it up. Here it is, you're gonna witness it, the first firing up of this iPad. Now you're gonna witness the first firing up of the iPad. I'm gonna turn it on, and there's the Apple symbol, and this guy starts to boot up. Ah, uh, there's the hello screen, and then we'll slide to set it up. So we're going to do English. We are in the United States. And I'm going to um, pause for a second here. So I, um, I took a, a few moments there to kind of uh, sign in on my Wi-Fi, but... Uh, already the keyboard feels really, really responsive. Really, really responsive. I'm going to enable location services. And I'll set up the touch ID later. Yeah, I'm going to set that up a little bit later. Um, it asks me to create a passcode. So give me a few seconds to do that. Alright, so some of the options um, took me through creating that passcode. And I chose one. And now one of the options it gave me back was... Um, with how I wanted to set it up. I could restore it based upon an old iPad or I could set it up as a brand new iPad, which is really what I'm gonna choose to do. So give me a second here and I'm going to um, use my Apple ID. All right, so I've gone through and I've set up the um, with my Apple ID. We're at the terms and conditions. I'm gonna hit agree because clearly I've read all the terms and conditions. So um, I'm going to take a minute here and I'm going to turn off the iCloud drive. Um, I'm going to hit continue because I've got a lot of storage. For now, I just want to use it there. It's updating the iCloud settings on this device. Um, this is saying keep the, this is the option for iCloud, uh, iCloud keychain. I'm going to opt out of this because I'm just going to hold it into here. Um, we'll, we'll set up Siri um, a little bit later. And diagnostics, um, we're gonna we're gonna opt not to send to Apple either. True tone, um, this says iPad automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions. Yep. Um, and then it just says welcome to iPad. And boy, do I feel welcome. I feel very very welcome. So let's get started. And here is the brand new desktop 
on this iPad Pro 9.7 inch um, with 256 gigabytes. In the future, I'm going to be um, showing a whole bunch of things on it. But uh, just for a few moments, let's just take a few uh, a few seconds and look around. So if I'm looking at it, of course, there's the primary button right there where my thumb is. Here are the uh, the standard rocker pa uh, rocker controls for um, volume. There's the power and the headphone. There are of course speaker ports at the top and bottom. If you flip it over to look at the back, you can see the camera there on the edge. And um, I don't actually know where the camera is on this other than that this is probably the camera right there at the top. All right. Um, well, that is the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. And some of you may be asking, why in the world did I get the 9.7 inch when um, if I had taken a little smaller hard disk, um, the 12.9 could have been around the same size. And the issue has to do with the front facing camera. The front facing camera um, on this guy is actually a 5.0 megapixel camera versus um, on the 12.9 there is a 2.0 I think megapixel camera and uh, the reason I bought it was because of a project that I'm getting ready to engage in um, and I need a good forward-facing camera. I, uh, I hope that you enjoyed the review of the 9.7 inch um, iPad uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll answer them and try them out because I know that some of you are thinking about buying one of these and you're scouring YouTube because that's exactly what I did. If you liked the video, click the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a bunch. Have a great afternoon.